The winter anime season has been crazy. Bleach came back, My Hero Academia is getting a flawless rendition of the big war arc, the highly anticipated Chainsaw Man started, and those are just some of the new releases. But what if I told you there was one anime that was outdoing them all? Would you say, No Lamoni, they can't be. Because if you did say that, I'd assume you haven't watched Mob Psycho 100 Season 3, the final season of the amazing series based on a manga written and illustrated by one, the same guy who made One Punch Man, and animated by my favorite studio, Studio Bones. So, now that this wonderful show has come to an end, let's talk about it. I will sh shoot both you and your dumb dog. Mob Psycho 100 tells the story of Shigeo Kageyama, also known as Mob, a young bull cutted middle schooler who just so happens to be the most powerful psychic in the world. In spite of his immense telekinetic abilities though, Mob does his best to lead a normal life, suppressing his emotions and dealing with all the usual problems that come with being a middle schooler. Being bullied, having a crush, trying to find friends, trying to improve yourself, everyone's had to deal with at least one of these things at some point throughout their childhood. But the difference between us and Mob is that we don't also have to deal with ghosts and psychic organizations in our spare time. You see, Mob's mentor and boss, Regan Arataka, the self-proclaimed greatest psychic of the 21st century, runs an exorcism type business called Spirits and Such Consultation Office in which he takes customers requests and helps them deal with their ghastly problems. Is that, is that a word ghastly? I have ghostly written down here, but is ghastly, is that what it means? I don't know. I know it's a word, but I don't know if that's what- Anyways, this business, which originally started as a scam, as Reagan is a fraud with no psychic abilities, slowly turned into the real deal after he picked up Mob, who could actually exercise the spirits. And due to him relying on Mob so heavily, they ended up getting into a lot more dangerous situations. So, the usual middle school troubles and an exorcism job on the side. Is there anything else Mob has to worry about? Yes. Remember how I said he suppresses his emotions to keep his powers at bay? Well, as time passes, his emotions build up, as they do for everyone who suppresses their emotions, and they continue to do so until he reaches 100%. And yes, there, there is an actual counter in the show, that's why it's called Mob Psycho 100, because like, throughout the episodes, the counter's increasing to 100%. Once this counter reaches 100%, the emotions explode out of him in the form of a giant burst of psychic energy. These energy bursts all manifest themselves in vastly different ways. Rage, as you would expect, makes him into a, like a better fighter, just an absolute mean guy, turns into a beast. Meanwhile, sadness allowed him to rebuild a school he destroyed. And sometimes, the burst can be transferred into other people, like when his overwhelming feelings of gratitude toward Reagan turned Reagan into the actual most powerful psychic of the 21st century. All of these different emotions bursting out of Mob demonstrate a beautiful development that slowly occurs throughout the series, with Mob going from an emotionally suppressed loner who can't think for himself in season 1, to a mature, smart, and emotionally intelligent kid with good friends by the end of season 3. Mob is continuously trying to improve himself. He's constantly tackling new challenges, be it the body improvement club, asking out a girl he likes, or some other common middle schooler idea of self-improvement. So, concept sounds great, right? Little kid with a bowl cut, has a super duper powerful psychic ability, and is just trying to get through his day. But what's a concept without good execution? A failure. That's what it is. I mean, just look at Seven Deadly Sins. Thankfully though, Mob Psycho was picked up by the best studio known to man. No, not MAPPA. Studio Bones who honestly seem to have taken quite a liking to Mob Psycho, giving every season the most amazing, whimsical animation possible, which perfectly fits the magical, occultic, humorous vibe of Mob Psycho, while simultaneously making the fights amazing to watch, not only because of the fluidity, impact, and choreography of the animation, but because of all the amazing colors, patterns, and creativity that come along with psychic powers. Even beyond the fights, episodes where Mob is just doing something fun or going about his day are all animated so well, and are able to convey the goofy nature of the animation anime, while simultaneously perfectly expressing the emotions that fill every single situation. That's not all though. Bones has also perfected the level of overanimation and absurdity needed to elevate the already funny mob psycho gags, like the crazy naming screens that pop up every time Reagan uses one of his special moves. Every episode of Mob looks like it was animated by people who truly care about the series. Even an episode based on something as mundane as hiking through a mountain, although it ended up being more important than that because they met like aliens, had 20,000 hand-drawn frames, which I think gives you a really important idea about what Mob's really about. Sure, they could spend all that time animating a fight, but the fights to Mob aren't very important. He doesn't want to be doing them, they're just annoying. But spending time with his friends, hiking up a mountain, going to try and see UFOs, that's what's important to Mob, and so that's what's important to the animators as well. Now, 20,000 frames, all crazy, all good. That's just the animation though. There's still a whole other side to the production of Mob Psycho that's also near perfect. 
the music. Mob Psycho is one of the only anime that I can say doesn't have a bad opening. In fact, it doesn't have a single opening that isn't a 10 out of 10. Like, seriously, now that I'm listening to them again, I'm like, you know? I could see myself listening to this, like, in the car or something. Like, just going about my day. Which is not something I can say from any anime. And actually, now that I'm talking about the openings, I want to bring it back to the animation for a second. Mob Psycho's openings are some of the most creative spectacles I've ever had the pleasure of laying my eyes on. And they perfectly encapsulate the vibe of Mob Psycho. Just all crazy shit, like, what the fuck is going on? It looks like you're on shrooms. Anyways, back to the music. Whether it's freaky fight music, some upbeat techno music, or some beautiful orchestra shit, Mob Psycho has it all. No matter the situation, you can be sure that they have a track that will perfectly back it. Another reason Mob Psycho is so special is every season's ability to perfectly balance the emotional depth and personal issues of the characters with the flashy shonen battles that you'd expect to happen in a world with psychics. Every season has multiple top tier fights. There's Mob vs. Teru, Regan vs. Claw, Mob vs. Mogami, Mob vs. Toichiro, Shimazaki vs. Everyone, which is one of my favorite fights in the anime by the way. Actually just an anime in general, not even the anime favorite fights in anime in general, and all the dimple fights that happened in season 3, and that's just to name a few. Then, in those same seasons, Mob and others go through amazing character development, whether it's learning that their powers don't make them special, learning to not care what others think, or learning to think for themselves. There's so much development that it'd probably take me a whole nother video to cover it all, and that's especially true for people like Mob and Reagan. Reagan, at the start, sort of comes across as this guy that's got it all figured out. He's just conning people. He's got this super powerful psychic by his side. He's just coasting through life. But as time goes on and on, you realize, man, this guy has a lot of flaws. And hey, Mob's leading him to earnestly try and deal with them and improve himself. You see characters band together for each other, and it's just beautiful, like Mob's brother. He starts off jealous. He's like, why didn't I get superpowers? Why is Mob the only one with superpowers? And then as the series progresses, he understands, hey, these powers aren't really all that important. The powers aren't what make the person. Characters like Dimple, the members of the Occult Club, the members of the Body Improvement Club, they're all so great, and they all make the anime so much better, especially when they all come together in season three but before we talk about the final season i just want to give a preliminary rating to this show because i'll be talking about spoilers and if you haven't watched the anime yet uh don't watch the spoilers obviously just you know click off this video then come back when you've watched it it's a 10 out of 10 anime 9.5 at least it is amazing it's got everything you would need in it comedy cool fights emotional moments great animation great music fantastic characters just go watch it For recently i've been telling you guys hey give it a try if you feel like it but no, this one, I implore you to watch it. I will kill you if you don't. I'm kidding. That isn't a threat. It's just a joke. All right. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Go watch it. Now, on to season three. Walls will multiply. I love football. What? A masterpiece from the start with Dimple's amazing fights and sad death to the end when Mob's surrounded by friends and Regan finally gets to have a good birthday. Every episode is amazing. I loved all the parallels, like the part where Mob's playing soccer and he can actually play soccer this time. The part where Reagan finally gets his birthday and it's not just a message from his mom while he's all alone. Every episode is amazing. It's all fantastic. The first opening playing as Reagan did his best to reach Mob despite the insane flurry of power that was attacking him. God Dimple putting his life on the line to protect Mob and brainwashing him to think everything was okay. Mob turning into Giga Chad Mike Guy. Ritsu going 100%. The Occult Club going on a fun trip to find a ufo and then going into that ufo and a guy gets like stuck there and has an alien orgy there are so many moments that made me so happy to be watching this show in fact i don't even think i can describe them as just moments at this point honestly every episode made me happy i was watching this show there was not a single second of downtime it was truly perfect i love mob psycho it was one of the first anime i ever watched i talk about it in my top 10 anime of all time video but i'm going to talk about it again here because i feel like it i still remember back when season one came out and i had to sit through like a million and Crunchyroll Cowboy Bebop ads because I didn't know where to pirate anime and I couldn't get Crunchyroll Premium because I was just a little child. Yet still, every episode I sat through them sitting in my basement on a lazy boy watching them on uh, one of those fat TVs with a fat back on my Xbox 360. And I still look back on those nights watching it as some of my fondest memories. I actually remember it. the night that I finished it all, I was like, you know what? There's like four episodes left or maybe there was like six or something, but I was like, I'll just get through them all right now. And so I did watching ad after ad after ad it was like brainwashing me but i just couldn't help but keep watching i'm quite sad to see it go to know that i won't see any more new goofy whimsical psychic adventures but i'm also happy that i got to see mob get the conclusion he deserved smiling with all his friends laughing his heart out 
and no longer scared of the powers inside him. I cannot recommend this anime more. You like funny? It's got funny. You like action? It's got action. You like emotion? It's got emotion. There's something in this anime for everyone, and if there isn't, then you still get to listen to amazing music and look at beautiful art. Mob Psycho 100 is a masterpiece, and you should really watch it. The black Marty McFly resurrecting a real shit, so I'm sorry if I offend plenty of the fake. See, I'm one of a kind, the hell of a guy came through with laws of the fire. They call me Philip J. Fly Captain yesterday, checkmate your second place, suckers a second rate. Yes, sir. You ever been a plug, but got the weight? Crack music, got the finest shit coming from out the states. But wait, now hold the phone, man. We could take a minute to pretend that me and Days old sin doing niggas in. We got you, your girl, moving and all her friends. Ain't worried about them threes, but them nines and tens. I can't wait. To get bougie, my service is gonna be costly. The pick of the little niggas, so haters can get off me. Uh, you think you would head? I'ma be there shortly. Of course, we in the game like Charles Way Barkley.